Still on the borderline, it's surely like this. Approaching of a UMC is purely hypeness. So I mention it again and again. It's not necessary. What's going on over here? It's trying to be Ant Central. Not even in the shot. Fucking six piles. Sorry, guys. It's supposed to water, but it's definitely gonna rain. Right? Water is definitely gonna fall from the sky at some point. This whole time, that's awesome. There's no way that this is gonna focus. We got a teenage girl, not even teenage, like 12 year old girl driving a big ass four wheeler, like a 700 or 900, with three fucking toddlers on the back, or preteens anyway. That totally seems fucking safe. I mean, she's driving slow, but Jesus fucking Christ, not a helmet or bodyguard on the fucking highway. Oh my god. I mean, it's technically not a highway, right? But, you know. It's still a freaking 45 mile an hour speed limit road on a hill with blind curves, blind hill, like morons use this as a throughway. Oh my god. I would not let my. No. 20 years ago, when there were no houses out here and this was the actual fucking still the country, yeah, but no, now there are way too many morons. No, you stay the fuck. No. Hell to the fuck no. If you don't have land for your kids to ride on, then why do you have a four wheeler, gay? Like, why do you have a. You have a half acre and a house, dude. You don't live in the. Just stop. Just stop. Sometimes I feel like this house is never going to be back in order. I really wish I knew where my tripod was. I kind of half looked everywhere and I didn't, I didn't see it anywhere I half looked. But I switched our cameras. Okie dokie, different camera that hadn't been running for 45 minutes while I've been inside doing measure. I mean, it wasn't 45 minutes, but it was a minute. I think we were just bullshitting. I mean, again, not bullshitting, doing words, but still, you get the. You get the idea. Got, got a bunch of measurements here. Yeah, in the mud and the muck is not exactly the best time to be working with interior trim that you don't want all messed up and ugly, but I don't have a lot of choice. Oh yeah, my board's splitting and shit because of all the weight. That's awesome. And see, and then this end drops in the fucking dirt, which is also awesome. Because, you know, I love fucking... Having Jerry rig, yeah, that's gonna fucking look great. Here's my fucking speed square. Like, I don't even know if you can sign this or not, but like, this is uh, like, this is not flush. Like, this is not actually a fucking, and I've been meaning to get another one, but I just haven't. But like, when you lock it down, like, this is, there's a little bit of extra, like, less than an eighth of an inch, but still, so that when you're fucking, when one end of your uh, guard or whatever, your saw hits the fucking the flat. It doesn't. It's not going straight anymore. It's all going cattywampus like a fucker she is. So that's just dickered. That whole piece is dickered. That damn tailgate cable stopped me from going. Son of a dick. I got a little left. See the perils of working with mud. Ah, uh, son of a dick. Close enough for government work. Tried to get straight ones. Oh, I love my fucking wife. Sometimes I hate my fucking life. You know what would be cool? Those awesome things you just put your board through. You know what I'm talking about? Sands it. Make sure it's perfectly level, perfectly square. Hey, Dawn. Well, not square per se. They probably have those too. I just mean perfectly flat, I should say. So this is left, single left down. So both sides and the top. Door top, inside back. So this side, a different life. I could see myself doing this for a living. Shit like this. Little, little carpentry remodel jobs. Hell, I probably know how to build cabinets and all that shit. Oh, I must have a little bit of my granddaddy in me.
was going to blow everything off the air compressor like I did last time, but that's inside and I don't want to drag it outside because it's muddy and stuff and things. So we won't skip that kind of thing. Let's give the old wipe down tech. Hard to put these gloves on sweaty, sticky hands. Stick up the sweat in there. Oh, here comes the rain, right on cue. Right when it starts to rain. back to the camera the whole time. I apologize. I'm a fucking goof. I think I'd give you all a new camera angle, but uh, apparently the new angle was of my ass. Nobody wants to see that. Don't worry about all that last part, guys. My camera died, so you didn't need to see that anyway. Okay, first layer of stain on coating layer. I don't know how you say that. All right, on and drying. Come on. All right, not 100% sure where I lost y'all. Ah. Mud all over my boot. I need to get a two by twelve. I need to get a two by twelve and bury it. And the ground supported by little pieces of rebar as a boot scraper like this. You know, I can just hang down on the old footsie pops as it were. Yeah, I was just trying to show you, I don't know when the battery died, but yeah, first coating on, first coating done. So as it were, one's right up there, three there. The rain stays off here, hopefully it will. Give them about 15 minutes, let them dry up, and we'll come out and do them again. Probably, I think three coats is what I did last time, but we'll just match the color. All right. Okay, about time for second coat. Got you on the head cam, so you're probably not going to be able to see it, so as far as you know, I'll be lying to you. I can get these freaking gloves on. Come on. I fucking keep forgetting this other board. I keep forgetting this other board. I got to fucking redo. i to get this done before I start just getting completely soaked with sweat. If we can. Okay. God damn it, you motherfucker. Okay, one more coat. All right, I'll have to be four coats. Still drying, but I had to bring her in because I got to run in town. I still got to hit this edge up right there. And that's one of the ones I had to re-sand. Oh, right there on the corner, right? But for the most part, that's done. And that'll just be a little touch up, but you know, I still got to do all those, right? Like, I still got to, I even got to still sand that more. That's not even sanded enough. Got to get those marks of polyurethane off completely, like I did here, so you can't even see them. I mean, you can still see them, but they look more like part of the grain of the wood now than they do like fuck-ups. I mean, not that anybody's going to notice except me, but I'm a perfectionist to so go fuck yourself. I mean, I apologize is what I meant to say there. So they still need all the polyurethane, but that's four coats of stain. But, uh, I don't know, did I even show you all this shit? I keep on thinking, you know. Storm never came in, though. Never picked up, so that was good. So not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Just a couple of things. Probably got them in transport. But that's mostly dry anyway, so no big whoop, but still. I dug it. Oh my god, I'm rambling. Let me shut up. 747 degrees, yeah. 747 percent humidity. It's hot in Georgia, you don't want to live here. Freaking dried up on my berries, yeah. Oh my goodness. 
off to town to get some supper and some drink. Some supper and some drink, which are two of my favorite things. Supper and drink. No, no, don't know if you're a fan of supper and drink, but I try to partake in both those things at least once a day, probably. Apologize. I don't mean like drank like gurgle, fucking gurgle. I just mean drank like thirsty. Need some drink other than water or milk or coffee. Some sort of drink other than water or milk or coffee. Potentially that may be alcoholic, but not necessarily always. We've got noise factor 47 today. That's how we're gonna roll because it is just not at all bearable. I'm not even sure why I'm making a vidya. Uh, I guess just because it feels like the thing to do because it's kind of my kind of the way I do things, right? Jump in the car and make a video, but I think we're going to discontinue that from henceforth. I mean, not for the foreseeable, not forever, just for the foreseeable future on the trip to town. Because I just want to listen to some music and shut the fuck up. It's time two parts to be talking.